Every season, the Premier League welcomes three newly promoted clubs. This time, it's Sheffield United, Luton Town, and Burnley. But statistically speaking, over 40% of newly promoted clubs end up getting relegated just after the first season. But today, we're gonna change that. I'm gonna manage all three newly promoted clubs and try and win the Premier League with them. Although this is not gonna be easy, because I'm gonna give myself a time limit of just 15 seasons. It's not gonna be easy, but let's see if we can beat the odds and pull this off. We're starting things off with Burnley. Our first task is to win the Premier League with this Burnley team and by the looks of things it is not going to be easy. This team has just got promoted from the championship and if you look at the players, although there are a few talents, they're not as good as you think. But the good thing is for getting promoted in the Premier League, the budget gets a big bump. We've got an additional 50 million in our budget, so a total of 80 million and we need to use that and make the right signings. Remember guys, winning the Premier League as soon as possible is what we need to do so we can move on to the next club. The first thing I realized is that a lot of players here at Burnley are on loan, like Ian Madsen, Jordan Bayer, even the likes of Taylor Howard Bellis. I think these are all youngsters that could play a big part in us winning the Premier League, so I think I am going to be spending some money and signing all of them on a permanent deal. And just like that, we've convinced all the loanies to join us on a permanent deal. One more thing that might really help us out is Wood Wekos. Yup, his loan deal at Man United is done and I think for the first season we might just keep him to just help bring some stability because we cannot afford to get relegated. We need to keep surviving in the Premier League until we can win it because if we get relegated that's going to waste so many seasons and we don't have the time. Anyways after making all the loanies a permanent deal we're left with 65 million. It was expensive getting all those deals underway. With that money I'm thinking instead of signing multiple players that are average let's just target two positions bring in some amazing players and improve the squad that way. I feel like that's the best thing to do. Honestly, this team is desperately lacking a good cam and that's something I think we need to address. Harvey Elliott for just 16 million seems like the perfect deal for us. We need a cam and he's got the experience from playing under Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool. This is perfect. Even after Elliott's signing, we're still left with 47 million and I'm thinking let's spend that on a winger who can get us the goals to survive. Our next signing could possibly save us from relegation this season and help us win the Premier League in the future. We've spent 36 million to bring Marcus Edwards to Burnley. We've pretty much used up all our funds. We've brought in Elliot and Edwards, but is this enough for us to survive in the Premier League? Remember, we're fighting against the clock here. We need to have a good season. And so we've made it through the first season and my big worry was whether we'll get relegated or not. Thankfully, we avoided relegation, but it was close by just three points. 14th in the Premier League in our first season not too bad it's certainly something we can build on and i can already see a lot of growth especially from elliot and edwards our two signings and also at the back so there's been good growth if we get good money next season couple of good signings i think we'll be on the right track but just like that we're already down a season and we're really far away from winning the premier league this challenge is not going to be easy heading into season two it's kind of obvious where we need to make the improvements we're not really going to ever win the premier league with Wood. Wegor stuffed up. We need a better striker. Not just that, I think we could do with a better midfielder, a better centre back. There's just so much we can improve. But reality check. Our budget has gone down from last season comparatively. 55 million is what we have to spend. That's because last season we got a bonus for getting promoted. This season, back to reality. But I'm thinking, guys, instead of signing multiple different players for like, you know, 20, 25 million, I'm just going to spend that 55 million on one player and hope that he bought out for us. But before that, it might be worth seeing if there are any amazing free agents available. And would you believe it? Nabi Keita is available for completely free. This is perfect. He's still 28. Now look at his stats. He's just what we need in that midfield role. And here we are negotiating with Nabi Keita on his contract. We're going to have to pull off signings like this if we want to win the Premier League as soon as possible. And there you go. We've just signed Nabi Keita on a free transfer. Not going to lie. I feel like that's a massive upgrade in our midfield. When now left with 51 million and I think I'm putting all of that money in one striker. We need him to be good. And that one player I'm signing is going to be Richarlison, the Brazilian. He's got World Cup experience and I can tell you this, if we can build the team around him, he's got a good supporting cast of, of course, Marcus Edwards and Harvey Elliott. I think he can bring in the goals. Although it was expensive, we had to shell out 43 million to get him. Not going to lie with the investments we've made, we've got to be looking forwards. I'm 
one thinking a top 10 finish this season could be possible. We've made it to the end of the season and our told you signing Richarlison would be an absolute dub. 25 goals this season, 22 in the Premier League. He's gone up to an 85 overall as well. And look at Marcus Edwards contributing as well. Naby Keita in the middle has just been insane. And all of this has resulted in Burnley finishing 7th in the Premier League. Yo, we might be closer to winning the Premier League than you think. So far, things are going well with Burnley, but we need to keep doing this because until we win the Premier League with Burnley, we can't move on to the next club. We're now into season three with Burnley. If we can somehow win the Premier League in the next couple of seasons, that would be just unreal. I think that'll set us up and give us enough time to win the Prem with Sheffield and Luton. But that's not going to really be an easy task. I think our attack is pretty sorted, but we do need a better defender, probably a better CDM as well, and we could do with some help in the fullbacks department. The issue is we have the exact same budget as last season, even though we finished seventh in the Premier League. That's because unless we break into a top four spot or even get Europa League, we're not going to get the extra money from Champions League TV money and all that. So that's got to be our goal. Quickly qualify for European competitions so we can get more money to spend. But for now, we've got to make this 55 million work. And once again, checking if there's going to be an amazing free agent that's available, but it's looking like we don't really have the luck this time around. Okay, okay, I take that back. We've just found Adriano Andrade, a Brazilian free agent. Surely he's Thiago Silva's regen. It's time to snap him up. This sounds surreal. We're barely spending any money to get a prospect like him at the back. He's literally going to go straight into our starting 11. Oh, that's a big upgrade for our defense. I'm not going to lie. Now with this 54 million that we've still got, we can bring in a world-class CDM. And would you believe it? We secured Pierre-Emile Hoiberg from Spurs and the deal is actually pretty crazy. Just 42 million for an 86 rated player. Can't go wrong with that. Not going to lie. Now that I look at our team, yeah, defense is a bit weak, but we do have the players to somehow win the Premier League. Maybe this season. Okay, that might be reaching a bit, but let's see how we do. We need to win the Prem as soon as possible. Oh, we're in the Europa League as well this season. I'm not sure if that's a good thing because I want the focus to be on the Premier League. All right, we're at the end of the season and once again, we've made progress, finishing sixth in the league, but still far away from the title. Ah, but hey, we also made an FA Cup final. That, that shows a lot of progress. Europa League, round of 16 too. I mean, all this is giving us a lot of experience. And wow, all the experience from the Europa League and everything. Look at the growth on everyone. Bro, this team isn't far off from winning the Premier League. I think we can do it next season. We'll need a bit of luck. 64 million in season four. We did qualify for Champions League, but maybe the Europa League has got us some extra cash that we can use. I reckon one left winger to improve this team because Zanaudi hasn't really grown as expected. We saw that out and we might just end up winning the Premier League. It all comes down to this. But who can we get for 64 million? And I'm betting all our money on Raheem Sterling. 50 million we've spent on him. He's won the Premier League multiple times and we need a player like that. All right, that's the team we've assembled to try and win the Premier League. If we can win it this season with Burnley, it'll give us a good advantage to try and win it with the rest of the team. So let's hope we can do it. We're making it through this Premier League season, but the question is, have we done enough to get our first newly promoted club to the Premier League title? It all rests on this. We've made it almost to the end of the season. Just one game to go with top of the league. I told you we've built a team that's capable, but it's still not job done for this team yet. There is still more to play for. I told you signing Sterling was a dub. He added a lot to the team. Marcus Edwards balled out. Richarlison with a stellar season, but we need to still beat Brentford in the final Premier League game. If we do this, we win the Premier League and we can move on to the next club. Can we beat Brentford on the final match day? No, no, we can't. No. Have we bottled it? Are you kidding me? It all depends now whether Arsenal won their game or not. What's gonna happen here? Arsenal bottled it as well. First beat Arsenal 3-0. Arsenal bottled the Premier League and that gives us the title. Yes! Four seasons with Burnley and we managed to win the Premier League. But this is just the start. Next up, I'm gonna have to manage Sheffield United and win the Premier League with them. Also guys, we're getting closer and closer to 1 million subscribers and it's my life long dream to get there. If you guys can help me out by subscribing, that would be awesome. We're starting things off now from the very beginning with Sheffield. And I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a lot harder than doing it with Burnley because this Sheffield team is pretty average. I see only like three good 
players in this starting 11. Berg being one of them. Emmett Hotsik, Station, Jaden Bogle as well. Maybe Ryan Brewster, but that's a bit of an iffy one. This could take more than five or even six seasons to win the Prem. Oh my god, we've got a challenge. Thankfully, being promoted means the budget for the first season's looking decent, about 60 million. I think the plan with Sheffield has got to be to just stick with the 5 3 2 and hope it works. We're going to be very defensive with Sheffield, and that's why I think we need to be building the team from the back. The first signing we're going to make is Georgi Mamadashvili from Valencia. That could be our goalkeeper position sorted. I wasn't kidding when I said we're building from the back. Honestly, guys, I think we're making the right call investing in the back line first because if we get relegated with Sheffield, that's going to be almost two to three seasons completely wasted and we won't have enough time to win the Premier League with Sheffield as well as Luton. So now that we've got our keeper sorted, let's improve the defense. And for that, I'm trying to negotiate with Chelsea for Badia Shield, who hasn't been getting that many opportunities there. So for 26 million, can we steal him? Ooh, maybe not 26, but looks like 27 could be a done deal. Let's see if we can pull this off. And yes. And there you go. By spending 27 million on Badia Shield, we've improved our defense massively. Surely that's going to help us avoid relegation. Also, I thought I'd check the Youth Academy and it turns out we've got a player with incredible potential. 78 to 94, William Yates. He might be the next big center back in England. We, we've got to just let him develop in the academy for now. He's 15 anyways. This could be the key to winning the Premier League. For now, this is our team and we need to just start off the Premier League, get some players growing in their overalls and just avoid relegation. That's the goal. We've made it to the end of the season and once again, it was super close. Three points, that's all. We just about survived relegation. A bit of decent growth as well for the first season. Players like Paddy Ashil, Mamadashvili, Emma Dodsik as well. I, I swear these names are so difficult to pronounce. But anyways, Jaden Bogle. Do you know what? Solid growth all round. If we can keep improving this team and investing in it, I reckon maybe just maybe four or five seasons, we could get it done. Meanwhile, guys, William Yates in the academy is turning out to being an incredible player. Already up to a 65 overall. My good lord. We're just going to leave him in the academy to develop. Maybe a couple of seasons down the line. He's going to emerge as a starter. Who knows? Heading into our second season with Sheffield United, I still don't think we're safe from relegation because last season it was super close. We need to continue improving at the defense in the middle area of the park. I'm thinking this season we get a left wing back, possibly a CDM, and we could be in a good spot. But I've got a game plan. I'm waiting for William Yates to become, you know, like 75, 76 rated or something, then promote him because this kid looks insane. 90 to 94 potential. Yo, he could win us the Premier League. But until then, this season, 42 million. Let's put it to good use. We start things off with a pretty incredible transfer, bringing in Calvin Phillips from Manchester City. Cost us about 26 million, but I'm sure he was tired sitting on the bench at Man City. Already, Calvin Phillips, I think, improves that midfield so freaking much. But the truth is, we're down to 11 million, which is that one signing. I really want to bring in a left wing back, and I can't see a better option than Ryan Sesegno. But we need more money to pull this off. I'm going to need to try and sell a few players. Oh, wow. We literally can't sell anyone because our squad is super thin. How has it come to this? Oh my god. I think we need to just sign a few free agents, fill up the squad. The Sheffield challenge has become even more difficult. After a bit of hunting in the free agent section, I found three players that could really end up helping us. Gunter in the left back department, Andrea Bellotti for depth up top, and Tom Davies, a solid option in midfield. Do you know what? I think we need to try and sign all of them because, guys, we're really struggling for squad depth. So let's see if we can pull off all three of these signings. Well, this is awesome. We complete the signing of Gunter. That was easy. Free agent signing sorted. Tom Davies as well decides to join the club. Brilliant. And there you go, guys. So Lottie joins Sheffield United. Not going to lie. The resources we've got here at Sheffield United are even more limited than what we had at Burnley. So I think the growth of the squad has been a bit slower, but we've done whatever we can. And I think so far we've built a decent team. But let's hope we can keep making progress because we don't half time. This is going to be our second season at Sheffield already. Let's see how we do in the Prem. Honestly, I was not expecting a top half finish with Sheffield. This is going just like how it did with Burnley. And look at our goal difference as well. It's it's positive finishing ninth. Guys, I reckon this formation, the five at the back, has, has been really, really good for us. I think it just works. Badia Sheila's grown massively. I'm hoping Mamadashvili can grow faster, but I, 
<laughs> I'm loving it so far. We're going to stick with this formation, guys. It's working. Oh, the dream would be to try and win the Premier League in like a couple of seasons. I think we're still far away from that. But if we can do that, we'll have enough time to get the job done with Luton. But for now, onwards and upwards, next season, we may have a superstar in the making from our academy, William Yates. Oh, boy. I think he looks ready. Third season with Sheffield United, definitely on the right track to win the Premier League in the next couple of seasons or so. Problem is, the budget is remaining the same. Unless we can break in a Champions League qualification, we're not really going to get the big money to spend. So that's the next goal for us. Meanwhile, the first thing I'm going to do this season, promote William Yates to the senior team. Because guys, that is basically, I think, our defense sorted. If we can just get these three constantly growing, I'm just going to stick with them at the back. The strategy of building from the back is looking pretty solid now, but I think we can start thinking about, you know, possibly bringing in an amazing midfielder or maybe even a striker. I think, you know what, let's let's bring in a better player than Davies in the middle of the park. Yeah, that, that's something I want to do. And I might just use all the 40 million that we've got. Ooh, not gonna lie, Curtis Jones would be an awesome pickup and it could leave us with a bit of cash for more free agents. 29 million and we've secured Curtis Jones from Liverpool. Signing players that have won the Premier League before is something we need. To follow that up, we're going to use the rest of our money to sign a few more free agent signings in Wellington, Lazaro, and Taylor Harwood Bellis. That's our squad depth sorted. No, guys, we were at the end of signing Harwood Bellis, but we've ran out of cash. Oh, I thought we pulled off all those signings, but no. That is legit what happens when you're managing a newly promoted club. Oh, the struggles. Regardless, I still feel we've done a great job. Last season, we finished ninth. This season, I want to push into the top six, top seven, because that's how we can get our budget increased. Man, this was a season of slight progress. That's the best way to put it. We finished eighth in the Premier League. But man, the Premier League title still looks so far from here. At least when we were managing Burnley, three seasons in, we kind of looked like we were in the fight. The good thing about this season is that our defense looks absolutely crazy. The plan to build from the back looks like, at least on paper, has worked. Worked. Next season, if we start focusing on our attack a little bit more, maybe we can up things and push for a Champions League spot. And remember, guys, we don't have unlimited seasons here. We used four seasons to win the Premier League with Burnley. We're already three down with Sheffield United. The pressure's on. We need to win the Prem soon with Sheffield. We really need to improve the team this season. The problem is, with a newly promoted club, your budget is really iffy until you qualify for Champions League. We've got 46 million to spend and that's it that, that's what we need to use to improve this team i'm thinking guys we 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 should either get a midfielder or a striker like that's it that's all i can think of right now because everything else looks okay do you know what guys i was initially really tempted to get a striker but i think putting off the striker signing until we qualify for champions league would be smarter because then we could go for a bigger player for now jacob ramsey if we can get him oh that's our midfield looking really solid we're really gonna have to use every bit of cash we've got this season to get this deal over the line. 36 million my first offer and well this was rather easy. 36 million for Jacob Ramsey. It's going to be our only signing for the season but I think it's a solid one. Don't think we've got what it takes to win the Premier League but I really think with that backline and system that we've got running we could get a Champions League position and we need that to get the funds to bring in a world class striker. Let's do it. We've made it to the end of the season and oh boy look Look at that defense. Mamadashvili in goal as well, bro. The team at the back in the midfield is looking absolutely unreal. And on the pitch, it has resulted in a third place finish. We were just five points away from the Premier League title. So honestly, next season, I think we might be able to get it done. We also managed to win the Conference League this season. That should give us a really good boost in our budget for next season. Oh boy, I really feel next season could be the one we get things done with Sheffield. And oh my god, we've got our biggest budget yet. We didn't even have this kind of budget with Burnley. What? 22 million. That's what winning the Conference League, getting Champions League, all of that brings. Surely now we spend that money on a striker because the rest of the team, I think, is more than good enough to win at the Champions League. Maybe 
maybe a left back, but I'm liking Gunter in that position. So we'll see. But this season, we have to win the Premier League. Harry Kane's contract's expiring in 12 months. I think it's time to strike. The only thing is, he's never won the Premier League before. Would he curse this Bruh. team? We can't be believing in stuff like that. And so for 70 million, we've signed Harry Kane. All right, guys, the pressure's on. We literally need to win the Premier League this season because this would be our ninth season in total. If we win the league this season, we'll be left with a solid six seasons to try and win the Prem with Luton. But if we fail to win the Premier League, we might just completely fail the challenge as well. <sighs> the stakes are high. We're at the end of the season and everything's on the line here. We need to win the Premier League and we've done it. Let's go. Five seasons, Sheffield United, newly promoted club, all the way to the Premier League title. And honestly, I think this team is better than the team we built with Burnley and no wonder we managed to win the Premier League. And would you look at that? Kane top scorer. We got him his Premier League title. But now we've got our toughest task yet. Six seasons and we need to win the Prem with Luton. We won the Premier League with Burnley. We did it with Sheffield United as well and now it's time for the most difficult one yet. We're gonna have to win the Premier League with Luton Town. And honestly this is gonna be difficult because this Luton team is pretty average. Every position I think needs an improvement. But hey we've got six seasons to somehow convert this team into a Premier League winning side. We've got to do it no matter what. The good thing is Premier League promotion money means we've got 70 million to spend, but 70 million is not going to be enough to make this team good enough to even survive the Premier League. We're going to have to really take a chance here. I think the plan is let's get a world-class goalkeeper who can save us in crazy situations and let's get a striker who can get us the goals to avoid relegation. To start things off, we're signing a player who is amazing at the World Cup in Livakovic, the Croatian goalkeeper. We got a pretty good deal on him as well. 24.5 million, not bad at all. With some season ticket money coming in, our budget has gone up to 48 million. With that, we need to sign a striker that can help us survive the Premier League. And I think that's going to be Goncalo Ramos, another player who absolutely balled out at the World Cup. I don't know if we can pull this off though. If we can bring in Goncalo Ramos, that is our goalkeeper and striker position both sorted. Like, it would genuinely give us a really good foundation to build upon, but it looks like we're going to really have to struggle for the money. And I don't want to do that, guys. Uh, 42 million is my next offer. That's not going to work. I think to sign Goncalo Ramos, we're going to have to sell some of the players we've got at the club because, yeah, it's not working. This is quite possibly my last offer. 43.5 million. Let's see if it works. They're willing to bring it down to 45. We still need to, you know, get that contract done with them. So let's do 44 million million last offer. I'm not doing any more offers after this and it's worked with literally the last bit of cash we've had. I think we've pulled it off. Don Carlo Ramos, welcome to Luton Town. But the real question is, are these two signings going to be enough to help us survive the Premier League? Because if we get relegated, that's going to be a lot of seasons wasted. Remember, six seasons, that's all we've got to win the Premier League. End of the season and yes, we've survived relegation, but it was close. We only finished 16th in the Premier League. But this is what we need. We need to just bring some stability, be in the Premier League for a while, get some growth, because look at that. Goncalo Ramos, as well as Livakovic, getting better and better. I mean, yeah, Goncalo Ramos scored 13 times in the Premier League. He's the reason we've survived relegation. Five seasons to go. We need to keep building this team, so hopefully we can win the Prem. Our second season with Luton, and one thing you'll notice, apart from the two signings we made, the rest of the team is so average. None of them look like players that can help us win the Prem. Premier League, except maybe Dotty if we can let him grow, and maybe Adebayo, but that's about it really. And with the budget being just 33 million, I think this season, we're not going to be safe from a relegation battle. It's going to be a grind getting Luton to a level where we can aspire to even finish top 10. For now, I'm thinking 33 million, let's use it to maybe bring in a free agent or so, and maybe a top class defender. Oh, this is perfect. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain available for free. That's a big boost in quality for our midfield. Not good lie, I think this is a solid signing, especially for free. 30 million left after that free agent signing. Let's put all of that into a quality defender. After some stingy negotiations, we've managed to pull off the signing of Nayef Agar, the Moroccan defender, for just 24 and a half million. With the limited resources at Luton, I think we've done the best we can. 
Hopefully with Acker and Oxlade Chamberlain coming in, we shouldn't be in the relegation mix and let's see what happens. End of the season and we're slowly but surely making progress. We weren't in the relegation battle this season, finishing 12. And of course, the players we signed like Goncalo Ramos, Agard, Levakovic, all of them grew really well. But also some players that were already here like Dotti and Adebayo, they've done well too. That's going to help us hopefully win the Premier League. So far, things are going well. But remember, we've got just four seasons to win the Premier League. Otherwise, oh boy, it's going to be really painful. Third season with Luton and the budget is slowly going up. You'll love to see that. 44 million this season. But we still have a lot of positions to improve like better defenders, better midfielders, maybe even a better striker. We can't do all of that. But with a couple of free agents, we can definitely fill the gap. So I'm thinking, let's sign Bakayoko and Jesus Vallejo as well. They're both available for free. These are a couple of solid free agent signings that are going to really help us out. With the rest of the money we've got, we decide to spend it all on Ivan Illich, a really talented midfielder. He's actually 81 rated and that's bolstered our midfield quite a bit. You look at this team, there are some really good players in here. Levakovic, Agard, Illich now, Goncalo Ramos. So we've got a team assembled. If we can finish top half of the Premier League this season, I reckon we're on the right track. We're making it through another Premier League season. Time is running out. Things are getting stressful here. End of the season and I don't see Luton down in the bottom half of the table, which is an awesome sign. Instead, we finish sixth. Maybe I underestimated Luton because my God, we're just 13 points away from the title. That is honestly incredible. I also feel the five in the back formation is just broken in game because it just gets us the results. Look at Goncalo Ramos. What a beast we've created. Agard as well, looking pretty good. Illich to Dotti as well, the new signing. The team is coming together. Let's just keep building on it. We have just three seasons to win the Premier League with Luton down. We've got to up the ante here. Qualifying for the Europa League means that we've got about 50 million this season to spend, which is going to be solid. And with that money, I'm going to start off first by getting a couple of free agent players signed, because I think that'll be really useful. So first up, it's Dennis Suarez, a former Barcelona player. Good one for squad depth. The next one is Patrick Pfeiffer. Hopefully I've said his name right. He's again looking like a solid center back. With the free agent signings out of the way, it's time to improve the rest of the team and utilize this money that we've got. I reckon we need a right wing back first because look at that. We're playing a midfielder there. And after that, if we've got cash left, maybe I'll invest in like another center back, but we'll see. Maybe this season's all about just getting a solid wing back. To improve the right wing back position of our team, we're signing Jed Spence for about 30 million. Can't go wrong with that. Jed Spence has got that back line looking really good, but one thing I noticed, we don't really have a good backup striker. But the money we've got left, we're not really doing much, so let's just get a free agent striker, and I found a couple of options. If we can sign any of them, it's just good, solid squad depth. Well, looks like Cannon rejected us, so I guess we're gonna sign Patrick Coutron, which isn't too bad. Yep, that's some solid squad depth. The truth is, guys, if we wanna make some real improvements to this Luton team, we need to somehow break into the top four, bring in that Champions League money, that's when we can make the big signing. So let's hope this season we can pull that off. End of the season and this is not good enough. We had to be doing better. Seventh in the Premier League, it feels like we're going backwards. We've now got just two seasons left and it seems like we're still pretty far away from winning the league. We're seeing a bit of improvement in our players, but we still need better centre-backs, better midfielders. I don't know if we're going to get the backing from the board. Although one cool thing about this season is that we went head-to-head -head with Barcelona and the Europa League and almost got through. But the truth is, the goal is to win the Premier League and now we've got just two seasons to do it. We need to get some money to invest next season. All right, this is giving me a bit of hope. Two seasons to go, budget up to 80 million. Maybe we just got money for being in the Europa League or something, but we'll take that with that money. I reckon we can make the solid upgrades that we need. Starting with Andreas Christensen. I cannot believe we've managed to get a center back like him for just 44 million. That experience he's gained from Barcelona is going to help us out big time. It's now time to improve the midfield, so we're spending 24 million to get Charlie Patino from Arsenal. Even with 80 million in our budget, all we could do is add a couple of players to our team this season. But regardless, we've just got two seasons to win the Premier League. This season, we need to have a big impact. Hopefully a miracle finish in the top four, maybe even winning the league. Who knows? Let's see. We've made it to the end of the season, and where are we in the Premier League? The pressure is on. Oh my god, second in the league. No! We could have won the league this season and completely 
completed the challenge. By one point, Man City ended up beating us. No. That is so frustrating, guys. Oh my god. To be fair, I wasn't expecting to win the Premier League this season, but we came so freaking close. One more season with Luton. We've got one last opportunity. We have one last season to get Luton Town to the Premier League title. We came so close unknowingly last season, but now, with the team looking almost perfect, we can pull this off. To be fair, we're not really perfect. We still need a better CDM, maybe a world-class center back, and then I reckon we'll be good to go. But it all depends on what kind of money we're looking at. Do we have our biggest budget yet? And yes, we do. 143 million. That's what you get when you qualify for Champions League. This is it, guys. We use this money, improve our team massively, and I think we can get the job done. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win the Premier League now. We've come too far to bottle it. I'm thinking, let's sign players from Man City and weaken their team, because last season it was them who prevented us from winning the league. And so for 68 million, we've signed Rodri from Manchester City. Wait a minute, Mark Kinyos has joined Man City. No wonder they beat us to the Premier League last season. Their team is stacked. We need to try and lure Mark Kinyos and sign him up. Not gonna lie, if we can pull off a transfer like this, I reckon we've got what it takes to win the Premier League. This could be our final signing. And for 47.6 million, we've pulled it off. Let's go. With that, our team is complete. If this team doesn't win the Premier League, oh my God, we've got problems. And this is our final season. We lose and we've kind of failed the challenge then. Let's see if we can win the Premier League with Luton Town. We're getting through the season and I'm nervous. We managed to win the Premier League with Burnley, with Sheffield United. But now this is the final newly promoted club. Can we do it? 15 seasons of career mode and it comes down to this. Have we won the Premier League with Luton Town? We're in the top four. We're in the top two. It all comes down to this and yes, we've won the league. The strategy to steal Rodri from City has worked out. We've built such an amazing team with Luton and in six seasons, we've won them the Premier League. And with that, guys, I've managed to win the Premier League with every newly promoted club. If you enjoyed this journey and want to see more, click here to watch me become the best manager in Premier League history.